Oh god. Forgot about the mines. Oopsie. Oh crap. Now that's one of the reasons why I like to play this game in third person actually. Okay, bomb thrower. I know what I have to do with those. It took me ages to actually find out how to do that. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's not going to work. You need to like catch the the bomb and throw it back to them. <clears throat> Stop it or I have to work. Nah. Not because she's done it three times. Uh, if she's doing it uh, too much, it's probably going to... Shit. Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ow, that's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, you need to catch them and throw those bombs back to them to destroy their shield. Um, and then you can take them out. It's a really nice mechanic. Really hard to get at the beginning though. Okay, pure copper. Interesting and some credits. I'll take it. Anything else? Got another shipwreck there. <laughs> ah, okay. That's what you mean by working. Uh, no problem with that though, Marco. Because I... No, they are actually not getting... No, they are actually not getting automatically set to complete. I had them setting, uh, getting automatically completed. Uh, but I had the problem that it not always worked. Flashbang. And then I couldn't return the, the points. So I turned the automatic completion of those off. <laughs> Okay, there is a lot more to discover here. Uh, I got a deposit. Oh, the rigged asteroids. I remember that. That's awesome. Those things you have to like. Why didn't I automatically connect it? Never mind. You have to... Um... Where is it? You have to activate the charges that are around those asteroids quick enough for them to blow up the asteroid to get to the stuff inside. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I am also mod. Just have to be quicker. Oh, I deleted them. Thank you for that, by the way. I really appreciate that because that means I don't have to tap out of the game all the time. Which is getting a little bit annoying after a while. Um, <clears throat> If you do that, I don't have to do it. <laughs> Delete your stuff really... <coughs> <coughs> Delete your stuff on your own if you want to. <laughs> okay. Should we try it? I think we should try it. Those are far enough away. They shouldn't be a problem. So let's go. Four seconds. Where's the next trigger? Oh, there it is. 
Three out of five. Where are the other ones? Oh, there's one. Uh, and too late. Yeah. <clears throat> really hot to do, I'll have to say. Really hot to do. Especially in first person. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Oh, come on, I saw it. I saw all the three. I just couldn't do it. No. Okay, now I have been seen. Only two drones, though. No biggie. Come on. I can do it. I know I can do it. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> then put on first person again. I will probably. But for now, I'm good. I actually managed to do it. It's kind of a challenge to do that in first person, though. Might be easy on the ice, though, since there's not as much happening. You don't see the explosions on your ship and all that stuff. Got a wiring kit and some more containers here. Okay. Uh. Why? Oh god. I lost orientation. Okay. None of that can be destroyed. I think. Food. Containers. Where are they? Oh, crap. Boom. Eat that missile. It's not. How do I get to those? Oh, there we go. Very, very dangerous part here. Oh, look at that mainframe component. <coughs> I did play a game like that before, but it's a long time ago. I don't remember how it was called. But it was really the same. I did play it in first person. And it was really cool. I mean, there is an Everspace 1. Maybe you played that? Quantum Entangler. Any damage done to the user will also be applied to the target with 40% increased intensity for 14 seconds. That's pretty good. It was not Everspace. Okay, well then I don't know <laughs> what it was. <laughs> uh, and another memory calibrator. Alright, alright, alright. Wrap. Ooh, okay, that's new as well. We actually have damage modeling here now on the stations and stuff. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All 
Alrighty then. Uh, I am going to go back to third person though. Now, because I just like seeing my ship. Especially if there are explosions on my ship. Um, and I'm going to go third person far. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. <clears throat> okay. Where was I? Have I been in there? I think I was. But since my scanning range is really not that great. I think I'm going to go on a little bit of a perimeter check. And see if my scanners can pick up anything. Doesn't look like it though. Huh. Oh, that's a nice color, Marco. I like that. That is a really nice color. Really nice turquoise. Is green ish. Why aren't you connect? Ah, okay. If I'm not close enough, it's not collecting the stuff automatically. Good to know. What? Ah, okay. That looks like a drill to me. At least it used to be a drill, I think. We got some more outlaws there. Let's get rid of them. <laughs> Field ST. Okay. Mm, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, equip that. That thing is pretty dang good. The light was really weak before I changed it. Yeah, I tried to take off the option um, that it's changing the intensity of the light as well, but the command do a random light just has that in it i can't take it out because i would like to have it at 100 percent intensity all the time but yeah not going to happen because that command just basically says screw you i'm going to randomize everything and welcome back hunter Loathing, always good to have. <laughs> Reddit, oh god. Someday, someday I will get a heart attack, for sure. Hey, and the bug is back. <laughs> yeah, uh, I actually think that's still the same color, but it's with it with the intensity now of my of my stream of my key lights so it's now at about 30 percent intensity you know what let's actually check that real quick i think i have that app on here Okay, now it's off, so that's working. No, apparently it's not the same color. Oh well. 
I knew it because before I had a different color and then the flashbangs hit. Okay, um, let me quickly check that again. I do have a green check mark on all of my devices though. Usually I have like on the key light, I don't have a blue, uh, a green check mark when I start up the stream or when I start up the app. Um, and I have to get that back again. And I thought that was the problem with the lights, but apparently it isn't. So yeah, I just don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> I also haven't found anything about that online, about that problem. And I'm actually a little bit tired of searching for it. <laughs> Did I check the close proximity to... To the shop. I think I didn't. There's a lot of stuff around here, but. Ooh. Ouch. Shouldn't do that that often. By the way, if you want to know where the shield marker and everything is, just look up there. Right there. It was in the middle on the bottom of the screen when I was in first person. Now it moved back up there. <clears throat> okay, there seems to be nothing else to do here for now. So I think I'm going to jump to this next part there. Let's go. Why do they call them bean bags? <laughs> that was Maddox's idea. It said they make our indicator jump around like bean bags getting juggled. Juggled? Man, you obviously never had to endure shift duty. Hey, Station AI, give Adam all the data you have on juggling. Affirmative. Huh? Didn't know we had access to an AI. We had no, it no, no. until I just repaired it. Cool. Oh. And uh, who's Maddox? Oh, just some moron I used to surf with. Scrap, the filter's rattling again. Talk to you soon. Okay, he's definitely hiding something. Union Bridge. Oh, there we go. First unknown signal. Let's go. Let Brickin go. Gotta go now, have fun. Alright Hunter, I will see you in the next one, I hope. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. This looks like a resource rich area. Resource rich area, that usually means enemies as well. Not really a lot going on there. Probably just background asteroids. Yep, and poor enough. There they are. What a good timing, <laughs> Marco. Just when he came around the corner. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome one. Holy crap. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was so good.
<laughs> have a hand for something like that. Apparently you have. Apparently you have. Okay, that was uh, the resource of scrap metal. Um, I lost orientation. Where is the rest of that area here? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is. Okay, there's definitely something over there. Doesn't seem to be anything here, though. Very hard to keep... Keep your orientation uh, where you want it to be in this game. <coughs> okay, what do we have here? Looks like um, probably a blown up GNB freighter because orange is, as far as I know, the color of GNB. But nothing really else going on here. Okay then. Probably some good resources on those asteroids though. And some loot. Rocket. I don't like rocket. Because, well... There are no homing missiles, you actually have to aim them and yeah, I'm just not good at aiming, basically. <laughs> a lot and a lot of iron, awesome. Actually, now that I think of it, I always had a completely filled up inventory and I just noticed why that was. You used to get the, the materials for crafting, like iron and stuff, also in your inventory. Now you don't anymore. You get that in a special inventory. That's awesome. Because I was constantly like flying somewhere and basically once I've hit one unknown signal I had to go back Good one Marco I had to go back because uh, my inventory was full Now I can actually stay out for much longer That's cool I like that change You oh, there is really a lot of resources here. Good thing I checked out that signal. that actually got me into that game was uh, I saw I think I saw a trailer or something or it got um, suggested to me on Steam and I watched the videos on Steam and the graphics of that game just completely sold me to it because I mean look at it it looks so good stuff over there still yeah usually after a signal like that guarantee you that I would have to go back because my inventory would be full did I check that 
I just can't tell, but apparently not. Whoop. Okay then. I think we can try and go to the next mission part. Go. <clears throat> yeah, usually to get all the uh, the last time I played the lo uh, to get all the free beanbags sorted. I just took like hours for that because I constantly had to go back to clear my inventory. Really nice that you don't have to do that anymore. Oh, Ooh, there is another trading outpost. We'll check the asteroid first though. that trading outpost has some nice stuff for me like missions and things oh, there we go I need to remember to go closer before blowing that stuff up Coming closer as well. <clears throat> Signal distractor. Oh, mm, I think someone doesn't like each other there. Ah, okay. Freelancer against outlaws. Well, I want to take part in that. I want to help the freelancers, of course. Device upgrade as well. Okay, another outlaw there. <clears throat> Did he just... I think he just stole the credit from me. Or did I get them? I didn't see. I didn't see. Secure container. Oh. Okay. At the trader. Hmm. Let's check that out. Repair drones. Okay. Uh, how do I get in there? How do I get it? Oh! Energy sphere. Okay, I need to find an energy sphere. And in one kilometer there is a dispenser for those. Uh, probably on the other side of the asteroid. <clears throat> what a surprise, it actually is there. I'm not 100% sure, but I think those things have a lifespan, so I probably need to be quick here. Hmm. You're good. Nice. Face plating and memory recalibrator. Okay, face plating. I think that's like armor. Yes, it is. Nice. That will help me a lot. As you can see now on the top left, I have another yellow bar here. Um, and as soon as I repair that, I have 171 hit points. Uh, in armor now. Pretty good. Pretty good. 